Hi, welcome back to Shades of Radiology. Today I am going to present an important presentation which is uh, very crucial in reporting uh, especially the trauma cases on plain radiograph. And the topic name which is very famous by Dr. Samir Raniga is One View is No View which is uh, beautifully illustrated in most of his presentations uh, in the conferences. So let us see uh, each and every uh, few cases uh, demonstrated by him. I would like to thank him for uh, providing uh, such an interesting cases for this presentation. Coming to the first case, if you see a uh, AP view of this finger, the fracture is not completely seen. But if you see the lateral view of the finger, you can clearly see the fracture along the dorsal aspect of the distal phalanx, which indicates clearly that one view is no view. And if you report this on a AP view, the fracture is nearly missed, almost missed completely. Coming to the second example, if you see here, again an AP view and an oblique view. On AP view, you can see a subtle lucency along the medial aspect of the proximal phalanx of great toe, but it doesn't indicate a fracture. And the second, on the right side, second image, you can clearly see the oblique view, the fracture is clearly seen along the medial aspect of the proximal phalanx of the great toe. Coming to the next case, this is the AP view of chest. The patient had uh, a pain and swelling in that region. And if you take a Y view of scapula, you can clearly see a destructive lesion of right fifth rib, which is very obvious. But if you see on the AP view, you don't see that kind of uh, rib destruction at all. Again, an important thing is uh, always try to uh, keep in mind that one weave is a no weave. Another classic example is the dorsal subluxation of distal interphalangeal joint of a thumb. Here you can see on the AP view, you can't appreciate any dislocation or subluxation. But if you see the lateral, uh, lateral weave, uh, in the DIP joint is dorsally subluxated. And for fingers, two weaves are too few. And the avulsion fracture or injury of the phalanges is often seen only on the lateral weave. Even if you take an oblique weave, these avulsion fractures can be missed. If you, the first is the AP weave. The second is the oblique weave, topmost on right side. And the topmost corner, the below corner on the right side, you can clearly see the avulsion fracture, which is demonstrated by the arrow. So. To look for the avulsion fractures of the phalanges, always try to take a lateral view if there is a strong clinical suspicion of a fracture. Another example of pet displaced patellar fracture, if you see the distal fragment of the patella on AP view is completely overlapped and it's almost not clearly uh, delineated as it is overlapping over the tibia. If you see the proximal fragment, we might think that is the uh, entire patella which has been mildly superiorly located. If you see the lateral view of the knee joint and you can appreciate the fluid level as well, the joint effusion is present and you can clearly see the displaced patellar fracture. Another classic example of bipartite patella, if you take an lateral view alone, you might miss this finding. On the left image, if you see, the patella looks grossly normal. And if you see the AP weave of knee joint, and it's you can clearly see the superolateral bony fragment, which is having a clear lucency with the entire patella. So this is a classic case of bipartite patella, which is not usually appreciable on the lateral view. So adequate views in trauma chest, trauma x-rays are here is the list you can go through uh, two views for shoulder that is the minimum number of views two for the hip two for clavicle for the wrist hand fingers and toes minimum three views is required and if needed you might be you should be able to take a few uh, oblique and uh, extra views uh, to demonstrate the fracture and for scaphoid it is four views minimum to route the fracture on plane radiograph and for the calcaneum axial and lateral views are uh, minimum views for the calcaneum. Thank you all for your patient listening. Hope this really is helpful in the traumatic setting. Uh, 
uh, and i would like to thank dr samir raniga for uh, providing me the beautiful uh, cases uh, and uh, stressing on the point of one view is no view thank you all